you guys see mine from over there? Yes. yes. It was Christmas Eve, 1990. I just turned seven years old. And two really important things happened in my life. Number one, my overly zealous, overly religious pastor uncle uh, convinced me that Santa was actually a misspelling of <laughs> Satan. <laughs> and I believe that the, that the jolly old guy was in fact the devil. So at the young tender age of seven, I lost all my childlike innocence and I immediately grew a beard and I transformed into this man you see here today. I also saw Julia Child for the first time on television and I was uh, baffled by the ginormousness of this Caucasian woman and, and her insanely, insanely annoying voice. But I was mesmerized by her cooking. So for Christmas that year, I asked my parents to buy me an Easy Bake oven. <laughs> Christmas morning, 1990. I'm excited, it's Christmas morning. I go to open my, parent, uh, my presents. And my parents get me a uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, unfortunately. <laughs> and, and since then, uh, like many Asian children of my generation, I have been horribly addicted to the new gaming. Uh, I learned a very important lesson that day. And it's that if you have Korean parents, you cannot ask them to buy you a specific item for your birthday or for Christmas. You have to ask them for money to go buy the thing you want on your own. Otherwise, they'll mess it up. But more importantly, I learned to learn from all of my life experiences. Last Christmas, I made my girlfriend a teddy bear from scratch. And tonight, I want to share with you the life lessons that I pulled from that experience. So lesson number one, don't lose sight of what you have uh, right in front of you. Uh, if I was in the United States, I would have no problem finding all the materials I need to make this teddy bear. But Korea is a, a little bit different story. It's a little bit complicated because my Korean speaking ability is good as a three-year-old native. But fortunately, I found the shop. Uh, it was very promising. Uh, and just to describe to you uh, how I got it, this is where I live in Hongdae. And this is the path that I took to get to the shop. I know it's a little roundabout, but uh, Hongdae is a little bit confusing. Uh, I found it. When I got in, I was immediately creeped out by the store. Because the teddy bears in there uh, were really scary. They kind of looked like they had, uh, they were possessed by uh, the souls of young children. Uh, so I, I immediately left, uh, but the lady there was kind enough to tell me that there was another place around where I live uh, that sold supplies for teddy bears. So the very next day I went searching again, and I think there was a miscommunication between me and that lady, because this is the path that I took from home to get there. <laughs> By the time I yeah, seriously, by the time I found it, uh, it was already closed, so I had to go home empty-handed. The next morning, I had an incredible revelation, and for you to really understand this revelation, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about where I live. It's a close-up of, uh, of the map. Uh, this is where I live. This is the path that I take to work every single day, to and from work. And now the revelation. And it's coming right there. <laughs> Two buildings over from where I live <laughs> is a teddy bear store that specializes in all the material you need to make a teddy bear. And I walk by this store two times every single day, and it just never occurred to me that this store was there. And it was an important lesson to me because sometimes you focus so hard on what you want, you focus so hard on that singular idea that you lose sight of what you have right in front of you. Occasionally you have to pull yourself out, look at the big picture, and sometimes that will help you find what you're looking for. <coughs> Lesson number two, you must learn to walk before you can run. And in my case, you need to learn how to stitch before you try to make an incredibly complex doll for your girlfriend. Uh, as you guys know, I'm really into animals. I also like animal-animal combinations and animal-machine combinations. One of my favorites is uh, the, the chainsaw grizzly bear. <laughs> but what you guys don't know is I also like animals that dress up as other animals. I find it to be very <laughs> So what I decided to do was not just make a teddy bear. I'm going to make a teddy bear that is wearing a lion costume. And I actually sketched this out. 
His name is Berion. Uh, I, I know that the artwork is very impressive. I'm very proud of uh, the sketching that I do. Uh, but what I found out is that just because you can uh, draw like Da Vinci doesn't mean that that skill translates into making dolls. So at this new teddy bear store, uh, one of the employees uh, basically was just very kind and she told me, you know, you're probably not very good at, uh, at sewing. And I like your very young idea, but you, know, you need to start somewhere simple. You need to start somewhere easy. And I took her advice. And after I started making this teddy bear, I realized that her advice was well. See, when you take on a project like this, you don't want to start with something very complex. You need to start from the beginning. You need to start where you can hone your skills, get the experience to eventually make something more complex. Lesson number three. Perfection <coughs> is in the eye of the beholder. This is what the teddy bear is supposed to look like. Uh, the, the, I chose a different color. I chose ivory and, you know, it's a teddy bear. What else is it? <laughs> this is the one that I made. Uh, it's really dirty because it gets a lot of love. But uh, uh, you can see that proportionally the face is really large. Uh, the, uh, the ears are kind of mouse-like. Uh, the, the tail is crooked. There's a lot of crooked parts on here. And when I first made this, I was kind of nervous about giving this to my girlfriend because it's a really awkward looking bear. But when I finally gave it to her, you know, she didn't even notice any of these flaws or mistakes until I told her about it. And in her eyes, this gift, this teddy bear, was perfect. <clears throat> so making this teddy bear for my girlfriend really reminded me that uh, you, you shouldn't lose sight of what's immediately in front of you. And secondly, you must learn to walk before you can run. And lastly, perfection is in the eye of the beholder. Now the most important lesson that you know, I want to share with you today is not those three lessons. It's that in everyday life, there's always something to learn from life itself. Uh, whether your parents inadvertently get you addicted to video gaming or you're making a thoughtful doll for one of your loved ones, there's insight in all of life's experience, experiences. You just have to be willing to learn.